So I want to talk a little bit about your dog's name. Most of our dogs know the word of their name means them. Um, but the problem that our dogs don't know is what do I do when I hear my person call my name? I use the name game as a way of teaching our dogs two things. One, when I call your name, I want you to check in with me because I'm either going to ask you to come to me or I'm going to tell you to go do something else. So when I call your name, what I want you to do is turn around and look at me. Okay. And as we build that behavior, we get a built in ability to start working on recall and teaching our dogs. When I say the word come or hear, I want you to come to me. Okay. So the first steps in this game, you're going to take your treat, and you're gonna say your dog's name and pop the treat in their mouth. You can use their dog food for this if you want to, because you're gonna be giving quite a few um, treats, rewards as you go through with this, and you may not want it to be a ton of treats, okay? Um, it's very similar to the video that I have for loading a marker. Um, it's name, treat, name, treat, name, treat, name, treat, name, treat, name, treat, name, treat. And you're going to do that about 30 to 40 times. You can even do it 50. It will not hurt anything. The more you do it, the better your dog is going to respond. Okay. Once your dog is starting to hear their name and turn to look at you, that's what you're looking for. Okay. That's when you know you're ready to move on to the next step. The next step of the behavior is to say your dog's name wait for them to acknowledge that they've heard their name and turn to look at you or give some sort of body acknowledgement that they've heard the name, okay? So as we've been doing this, this first part of it, we said our dog's name, we gave them a treat, right? Said their name, gave them a treat, said their name, gave them a treat. So when they hear their name, they're gonna start looking to us to get that treat, right? Because that's the next step in the process. So now we say their name, hold on to the treat for just a couple seconds, and you should see your dog either turn to look at you, twitch their ears, wag their tail, something that says, oh, that was my name, I heard it. And then you're gonna mark that second that you see that um, acknowledgement of name. So you say your dog's name, they go, oh, my name, you go, yes, good job. And then you hold the treat down beside you so they have to come to you to get it, okay? Do not go to your dog to give the treat. Have them come to you, okay? See where this is going? All right, now, once we get that going, then you're ready for the next step, okay? The next step in this evolution is to teach your dog what they are doing right? Okay. So in a couple of the videos, you're going to see there's a little dog named Maggie. She's all the way across the room from me and I call her name. I mark her attention for looking at me or letting me know she's heard her name. And then I wait until she's on her way to me to say, come. And when she gets to me, she gets the treat. Okay. So I'm teaching her when you're all the way across the room and I say your name, as you come running up to me, that's the word come. So once she picks up this behavior, I'm gonna be able to say, Maggie, come. And no matter where she's at, she's gonna be able to come running to me because, oh, come means go to her and get the reward for it, okay? So this behavior teaches their name and what we want them to do when they hear their name, but it also sets us up for recall, okay? So you have to make sure you're getting the steps exactly how they're supposed to go in the process in order to make sure we're building the end result, okay? So it's name, acknowledge that they're paying attention to their name, hold the treat down beside you. As they come to get their treat, you tell them come, okay? All right, so watch the videos below. And if you have any problems, any questions, let me know.